Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be walking through the ASP Quick Dip dip powder system. You can get this at your local Sally's Beauty Supply. This is one of the first kits that I used when I first started dipping my nails, and so I figured for this beginner-friendly dip powder video, I would go back to my roots. Please ignore the grow out on my left hand of my builder gel. I do need to do a builder gel fill, and if you're interested in how I do that, I will link the video that I have on my channel. So today I'm turning my attention to my dominant hand. Ugh, I know, scary. I do not like to dip my dominant hand. It takes me way longer than doing my non-dominant hand, but I'm never gonna get better if I don't. So today I'm gonna be focusing on that and hopefully that will work out well. I'm gonna start out by just quickly shaping the nail. I did cut these down just to show you guys what it would look like on short natural nails. So I've pretty much filed how I want to, but just quickly shaping to make sure I have the shape that I'm looking for. And then I'm gonna turn my attention into buffing. So really looking to just remove the oily layer of your nail. So just take a buffing block and start to buff that off. And after you're done with that, just brush your nails off with a powder brush. Step one is our pH prep. I'm going to be using this one today, but when you buy the kit at Sally's, it will come with one. What this is going to do is really dehydrate the nail, so it's gonna pull off some of that natural oil on the nail and really give your dip something to adhere to. The color I'm going to be using today is called Cream Soda. It does come in the starter kit, and it is a pretty nude shimmer shade. Step two is going to be your base liquid, and that is what is going to allow the powder to adhere to the nail. So I'm gonna open this up and get a very small amount on my brush. I really wanna do very thin layers to make sure it doesn't get clumpy or uneven on the nail. So let's start by applying this directly to the nail in a very even layer, and then I'm going to take my nail and dip that into the powder. Then I'm gonna brush off the extra powder. Now, one thing that I am noticing here is that it looks like some of the base coat did dry before I was able to get my nail into the powder. So because of this, because this liquid is a lot faster drying than some of the other liquids that I've used in the past, I am going to need to either very, very quickly paint on my nail and do that base coat and then dip in or use a little bit thicker layers than the thin layers that I'm using. So in this next nail, I'm going to make the same mistake again and go really thin but then the next one I am going to add a little bit thicker coat onto the nail of the base liquid and that's going to allow me to get a lot more even coat so one of the things that you'll figure out when you start dipping is you're gonna have to just try different things you'll find things that happen and you'll be like oh I need to put that on thicker or uh, it's really just a learn a little bit of a learning curve so you'll see me figure that out in this video. I've been dipping my nails for two years now and I am still running into things where I'm learning which is great and it makes it so fun so I know that you will be able to do the same. I'm just going to continue on and do the rest of my nails and finish up this first coat and then I will make sure that I brush all of the extra powder off and then we'll go in for the second coat on all of the nails. Okay, now I'm moving on to coat two. Now on these first two nails that I kind of messed up on the first round, I don't need to do anything special. I'm just gonna go in with that same thickness of coat that I've done on the other nails and it will correct itself. So I'm just going to paint right on top of what I did before and then I'm going to dip and repeat that for all of the other nails as well. After I finish that, I am going to brush off the extra powder. I probably won't show all of these nails because you'll get the point after one or two, and then we'll move on to coat three. Now I'm moving on to my third and final layer of dip powder. This is gonna be the exact same steps we've done before. Apply a layer of the base all over the nail and then dip into the powder. You have probably seen at this point me working with these wooden sticks. This is something that I use to clean up my cuticles as I go. So if something gets onto my cuticle, I use this, this stick to very quickly get it off before the dip adhesive dries. 
So that is a fun tip for getting really clean cuticle lines. And I'll show you in a little bit when we move on to the filing piece, another thing that I do to get really great cuticle lines. Step three is going to be our activator. And this is what is going to set everything that we've just done. It's going to allow the nail to harden and stay into place. This is a necessary step before filing. So I'm going to generously apply this over all of the nails. After a few minutes, and once your nails feel hard to the touch, you're ready to start filing and shaping. So I'm going to grab my file from the beginning and just fix up the shape that I had before, making sure that everything looks good from a shape perspective. After you finish shaping your nails, I am going to grab this fun Bonafide Beauty Ergo file. And this is the trick that I use to get those really clean cuticle lines. You can get this on Amazon for pretty cheap. It basically has has a little indention here that you can see that I run around my cuticles and that really allows me to get that very thin line and then I'm going to move on to my buffing block now my buffing block is one of my favorite things there these you can buy on Amazon you can also get them in your local Sally Beauty supply store they have two sides to it so the first side is going to be the more rougher grit I'm going to use this first to really buff out the nail and make sure everything is very even if you, you can probably feel on your nails right now if you are following along with me that the top of your nail feels very rough this is going to really even that out for us and make sure everything is nice and smooth after you finish doing the rough side on all of your nails you're going to flip the buffer block to the other side and this is going to just make sure everything is perfectly smooth very buffed ready to go and you're ready for your top coat layer now that I've finished filing, I'm going to reapply our activator just to make sure everything is set in place and then move on to the top coat layer. Now on this first top coat layer, it's really important to try to put the layer down as quickly as you can. Um, this doesn't have to be perfect at all, just trying to lay something down very quickly. It does dry very quickly as well. And then on that second coat, you'll have a lot more time to take your time uh, make sure everything is even, paint that on, and cap the edges to make sure everything is perfect and good to go. Do make sure that you are waiting a few minutes in between coats and that the first layer you put down is completely dry before you go in with your second layer. After you finish your second layer, you're going to want to wait again probably for five minutes um, just to be safe, just to make sure that you are good and everything looks great. And then after that, the top coat should be dry. After your top coat dries, you should have something that looks like this and congratulations, you have finished your dip nails. Then I will add some final photos of what this turned out looking like. As always, thanks for joining me. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, turn that bell icon on so you can know when I post my next video and I will see you guys soon. Bye.